Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm just giving our cactus plants a little drink. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you have to be very careful with cactus plants as they're very prickly. And lots of cactus plants grow in the desert where it's very, very hot. Phew! A great big sun, no clouds in the sky. No one about, except my cactus and I. <laughs> and me! Hoo -hoo. I'm here too, partner. Hello, everyone. What are you doing, Ben? Ho -ho. I'm a cowboy small. Cowboys sometimes ride around in the desert. Do they? Oh, yes, partner. Why do you keep calling me partner? <laughs> Cowboys do that too, Small. They say, uh, how you doing, partner? And pass the beans, partner. And things like that. Oh, I want to be a cowboy too. Can I be a cowboy? Partner? You surely can, partner. Just hop on your horse, like this, and ride around like me. Yeehaw! Yippee-yay-yay! Yippee-yay-yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Why have you stopped? Cowboy hat, Small. We can't be proper cowboys unless we've got cowboy hats. You're right, Ben. <coughs> oh, we can't worry about that now, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way, partner. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, partner? She's got a check shirt, jeans, and a horse outside. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's Casey the cowgirl. Well done, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. I was at the big cowboy show with my friend Casey the Cowgirl and her horse Star. She was going to enter a competition to round up some buffalo. We were really excited, but then something happened. Oh dear, one of Star's shoes has fallen off. I can't let Star enter the competition without his horseshoe. Then I had an idea. Come with me and we hurried off to see my friend the blacksmith. A blacksmith is someone who fits iron shoes on horses' hooves to stop their feet getting hurt. Don't worry, Casey, he said. I'll make a new one. Soon he had the fire going and was hammering away until he'd made a lovely shiny new horseshoe. We had to stand in a safe place as the fire was hot, hot, hot. <laughs> The blacksmith soon fitted the new horseshoe, but we didn't know what to do with the old one. Then I had a brilliant idea. Horseshoes are supposed to bring good luck, so I fixed the old one to Star's saddle. Casey was really pleased. Then off we went to the competition. We were just in time. Yee-haw! yelled Casey, and Star ran like the wind. I really had to hang on. Casey was so good at rounding up the buffalo that she won the competition. Whoopee! That horseshoe really must have been lucky. <laughs> Three cheers for Casey, yelled the judges. And they gave her a prize, a lovely star badge to wear on her hat. And three cheers for Star, the fastest horse in the West. <laughs> and don't forget, three cheers for Little Cook Small. And he's lucky horseshoe. Little Cook to the rescue once again. <laughs> that was a great adventure. Wow, fancy rounding up all those buffalo. Casey is a clever cowgirl. Way! And Star's a very fast horse. And the lucky horseshoe was a great idea too. I wish we had that lucky horseshoe right now. Why? Because it might help us think of what to cook for Casey. book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Here we are. Star Bean Burger. Made with buffalo cheese. Ooh, 
Just the thing after a hard day herding buffaloes, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw, partner. Oh, perfect. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion, over we go. Got the onion small. Garlic. Garlic, yep, that's here as well. Got it. Carrot. Over here, yep, carrots. Kidney beans. Kidney beans, got those, yep. Curry powder. In the cupboard as well. Lovely curry powder, yep. Oil. Here we go, got the oil small. Flour. Oh, that's here as well, in the cupboard. Got the flour, yep. Cherry tomatoes. Lovely red juicy cherry tomatoes, got them. And buffalo mozzarella cheese. Eh? Buffalo Ooh. mozzarella cheese. Well, here we are. There's everything else for the recipe. Now, I've heard of buffaloes and I've heard of cheese, but I've never heard of buffalo mozzarella cheese. Well, why don't I whiz off and get some and find out how it's made? I think you better add, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoop! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, this is beautiful. Hello there. Look at those horns. These animals are called buffaloes. And they're off to the milking parlour to be milked. This is the milking parlour. And this is the farmer. He's attaching some suction pipes to the buffalo's udders. The milk is sucked from the buffalo and collected. It's going to be used to make a cheese called mozzarella. The farmer adds an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Look! The milk has turned into curds and whey. The whey is the runny stuff and we don't need that. The curd is the lumpy bits. We use the curd to make the cheese. <laughs> Look at the curd. It's turned all stringy and stretchy. The curd has turned into cheese. It's a soft white cheese. It's called mozzarella. The cheese is divided into small ball-shaped pieces and stored in some water until it's packed. Now the cheese is packed and weighed and ready to go to the shops. That was great! See you later! Yeah! Woohoo! Hey! Steady there, boy! <laughs> yeah! Hey! I'm back! Hello there, Small. Did you get the cheese? Oh, yes. And here it is. <coughs> Woo! Hey, hey, that's great. Buffalo cheese is made from buffalo's milk. And buffaloes are really big with big horns. <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, hey. That sounds great, little cook. But we'd better get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Star Bean Burger? You do? 
There was onion, one chopped. Garlic, one clove chopped. Carrot, one finely grated. Kidney beans, 225 gram tin drained. Curry powder, one teaspoon. Oil, two tablespoons. Flour, two tablespoons. Cherry tomatoes, one cut in half. And buffalo mozzarella cheese, two slices. Whoopee! Let's get started. I'm going to turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Now we can start on our bean burgers. So the first thing we need to do is mash up the kidney beans. You can do that for me, Small, while I fry the onions. Hey! Mashing, smashing! You can mash with a masher or a fork. I'm going to use a fork. Woohoo! Mash, mash, mash! Hey, smashing, mashing, small. Now I've started to heat the oil in a frying pan and I'm going to add the onions and the garlic and fry them for a couple of minutes. And this is another grown up helper job. Are those beans ready yet, small? Yep, partner. Hey, hey, thank you, partner. Wow, a very good job. Woohoo! Mmm, the smell of frying onions. It makes me think about being a cowboy, sitting around the campfire, and waiting for my dinner. Into the pan goes the carrots, the mashed up bean. Oh, quite sticky. Let's get it all in. There we are. The curry powder and the flour. And give it all a good old stir. Stir and stir and stir. Until it's all mixed up together. Now we have to let this cool down before the next bit, so pop it there. Turn off the heat, and now I'm going to make a cowboy hat. Hey! So to do this, you need a plain piece of paper or card. Fold it in half, like this, and then draw the shape of half a cowboy hat, like this. I wish I had a cowboy hat. Oh, me too, Small. Now, we can cut out the shape. Yee-haw! We go and open it. That's brilliant! A proper cowboy's hat. But you can't wear it. No, 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 Small. This is for the recipe. And just to finish it off, I'm going to draw a band across it, like this. There we go. And then I can pop it on a plate, ready for a star bean burger. Hey, I've had an idea. <laughs> what are you up to, Small? <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> The mixture's cooled down now, so we can carry on with the recipe. I've placed a star-shaped cutter onto a greased baking tray, and I'm going to spoon in the mixture. Like this, until the star is full. Perfect! yee <laughs> Carefully press down with a spoon, and then we can gently remove the cutter. There! A star! Now we need to pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. On there, open it up, and pop it in. And remember, that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for ten minutes. 
we go. Oh, it smells lovely. Yee-ha! Do you like my hat, Ben? It's great, Small. <laughs> right, now, ask your grown-up helper to put two slices of buffalo mozzarella cheese onto your bean burger. But you can use any cheese you like. Like this. And then pop it back into the oven until the cheese has melted. So, oven gloves on. And back into the oven it goes. Yee-haw! I'm a cowboy and a cowboy calf. Woo! -hoo! Oh, you're a good cowboy, Small. I wish I had a hat. I'll make you one, Ben, whilst the cheese melts. The cheese has melted now, and I've placed the bean burger onto the cowboy hat. And just to finish it off, I'm going to put half of the cherry tomato on there, like that. And there we have it. One cowboy hat with a cowboy badge. Hey! How's my hat coming along, Small? It's ready, Ben. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Small. Woo. <laughs> I think it's a bit too tiny for me, little cook. <laughs> oh, I so wanted my very own cowboy hat. But never mind. We better get this through to Casey. One star bean burger coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like Casey enjoyed her star bean burger. Look, Small! She's left a note! Well, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My star bean burger was delicious! <laughs> Yee-ha! To say thank you, here's my cowboy hat for Ben. I <laughs> hope it fits. From Casey the Cowgirl. Wow, Small! Look! Ho oh, ho! It's my very own cowboy hat! Yeehaw! Let's hit the trails, partners! Ho oh, ho! See you soon, partners! See you soon, partners! Yeehaw! 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 Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone! Do 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 Oh! Hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! <laughs> We're just having a good tidy up today. I'm doing the kitchen and Ben's doing the cafe. Small! Small! Ho ho ho! Something awful's happened! What? What is it, Ben? Oh, hello everyone. I've lost my gold ring. Oh no! Oh, well, I tried it on this morning. I'm sure I did. But just now in the cafe, I looked at my hand and it was gone. Well, I'll help you look for it. I know how precious it is. Oh, yes, it's very precious. It was a birthday present from my granddad. Well, don't worry, Ben. We'll find it. Oh, but it's so tiny, Small, and the cafe is so big. It could be anywhere. <coughs> oh, dear, and now we've got a customer. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll go see who it is and you keep looking. I'm on my way! Whee! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, it's got black and white feathers, wings and a beak. Oh, so it's a bird? 
Oh, is it a penguin? <laughs> it's not a penguin, Ben. It's a bird called a magpie. A magpie? I heard you could bring good luck if you said, Good morning, Mr. Magpie. Where's your brother? Go on, Small, say it. OK, Ben. Good morning, Mr. Magpie. Where's your brother? <laughs> Sorry. It's not a Mr. Magpie. It's a Mrs. Magpie. And her name's Monica. I'm sure I've met Monica before. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was having a walk in the woods when suddenly something landed on my head. It was a piece of silver cloth which glittered in the sunlight. Sorry, called a voice from above me. I looked up and saw Monica the magpie peeping down at me from her nest. I love collecting shiny things, but my nest is so full that bits and pieces keep falling out. I've got so much shiny stuff up here, I don't know what to do with it all. I think I can help you there, I said. I took Monica the magpie to meet a friend of mine whose name was Manjit. Manjit was supposed to be making a shiny picture to take to school, but she didn't have any shiny things. Monica the magpie was very interested. Well, if it's shiny stuff you're after, you're talking to the right bird, she called cheerfully. All afternoon, Monica flew backwards and forwards between her nest and Manjit's house. She brought Manjit shiny paper and ribbon, glittery material and sparkly sequins. Manjit was delighted! Whoopee! I know just what I'm going to make now, she said happily. And she made a beautiful collage of a shiny magpie sitting in her sparkly nest. Manjit and Monica the magpie were both very pleased with their day's work. Manjit was really proud of her picture and Monica now had some room in her nest so she could start collecting more shiny things. Way! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, I loved the collage that Manjit made. Didn't it look fantastic? It was brilliant, wasn't it? Monica's collection of shiny things was just what she needed. Oh, small. I've just thought. My gold ring was really shiny. Perhaps Monica found it and took it back to her nest to add to her collection. She can't have Ben. You lost your ring before she came to the cafe, remember? Oh, yes, you're right, Small. Oh, I'll be so upset if I don't find it. It must be somewhere. Let's find a recipe for our hungry magpie, and when it's cooked, we can carry on with our search. OK, then. What can we cook for Monica? I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. I don't suppose there's any shiny recipes, Ben. You suppose wrong, my little friend. Look, a fruity nest. The perfect recipe for our birdie customer. And even better, Small, you use shiny foil to make the nest. That's spot on perfect. Let's make it. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need honey. Honey, over to the cupboard. Here we go. Honey, got that small. Lemon. In here, there we go. Got the lemon. A cooking apple. There we go. Nice big green cooking apple. Yep. Summer berries. Ooh. It says here we can use tinned, fresh or frozen. We're going to use fresh. There we go. And frozen yoghurt. Frozen yoghurt. Oh, there we go. Nice and cold. Yep. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Frozen yoghurt's really interesting. But I wonder how it's made. Hey, why don't you whiz off on a yoghurty mission and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. See you later. Hoo hoo hoo! Hey! Why don't you come along too? Way!
Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo choo! This is the right place. This is where frozen yoghurt is made. First of all, we need some water. The next ingredient is cream. There are lots of ingredients used to make frozen yoghurt and they all have to be mixed up together. Mixy, mixy, mixy! This sugar adds a little sweetness to the frozen yoghurt. When the mixture has been heated up and cooled down, it goes through some pipes. Hee hee, here it comes! Gloop, gloop. <laughs> it's being collected in big tubs. Oh, it looks yummy and it's really, really cold, but it's not frozen yet. To make it freeze, it has to be put in the freezer. It's really cold in there. On a hot day like this, frozen yoghurt is just what you need to cool down. These girls and boys look like they're really enjoying it. Mmm, yummy! That was great! See you later! Ah, right, everything's ready now. So while I wait for Small to get back, I think I'll have another look for that ring. Maybe it's down here. Way I'm back! And I found out all about frozen yoghurt. It's squeezed through a big pipe and then it's put in the freezer. <laughs> ben, how's the search going for your ring? Not too well, I'm afraid. Still no luck finding it then? We'll find it, I know we will. I hope you're right, Small. No time for worrying now, Ben. We've got work to do. Come on, then. Let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <music> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients for Fruity Nest? You do. There was honey. One tablespoon. Lemon. The juice of half. A cooking apple. One. Summer berries. Four tablespoons. And frozen yoghurt. Four tablespoons. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Then put the berries and honey into a mixing bowl and use a fork to mix them and squeeze the fruit a bit. Now give them a good old mix-up. Then you add the four tablespoons of frozen yoghurt and mix it all up again. Hoo-hoo! Lovely and mushy.
Pour the mixture into a container, then put it in the freezer for three hours. In it goes. All in. Pop on the lid. And over to the freezer. It's in the freezer now, Small. What's next? Have you washed the apple? Certainly have, Small. Now you need to take out the core and make sure the hole's big enough for the filling. OK. Here we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. Then you need to brush the inside of the apple with lemon juice. And we'll need some silver cooking foil. I'll go and get that, Small. Brushing the middle of the apple with lemon juice stops it from going brown. There you go, Ben. Thanks, Small. Brushing on the lemon. After you've brushed the inside of the apple with lemon, cover it in foil. So we wrap the apple in the foil like this. Oh, ho, it's lovely and shiny. Then pop it onto a baking tray and then put it in the oven for 35 minutes. So, oven gloves on and over we go. There we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown up helper to do. In the oven it goes for 35 minutes until it's nice and soft, but not mushy. I'll set the timer to 35 minutes. Hey, Small, I've just remembered a rhyme. It's all about different numbers of magpies and what that's supposed to mean. Oh, let's hear it then, Ben. OK. It goes like this. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told. I think Monica will bring us good luck and we'll find that ring of yours, Ben. <laughs> The apple is cooked, and the frozen mixture's ready too. OK, here we go. Out it comes. Close that. There we go. What's next, Small? You carefully open the foil and make a nest shape with it around the apple. OK, and remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the foil is hot, hot, hot. Opening it out and roll it up a little around the edge. Then you put the apple and the foil nest onto a plate and put the yogurt and fruit mixture into the middle of the apple. OK, here we go. Onto the plate. And let's scoop in the yogurt. This looks tasty. A little more, I think. Last thing, if you have a few berries left, you can use them to decorate the top of the apple. And it just so happens we have. Ta-da! Sprinkle them on. There we go. One shiny fruity nest coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits
bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like Monica enjoyed her fruity nest. Look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My apple was delicious! Thank you! And I love the shiny nest. Do you mind if I take it away with me? By the way, you know how good I am at spotting shiny things? Well, I spotted this under the table, so I'm going to give it to you as a thank you present. Love from Monica the Magpie. <laughs> I think I know what Monica's found. Do you? Oh, ha, ha, small! It's my ring. Monica's found my ring. Oh, oh, oh. I must have dropped it earlier when I was cleaning the cafe. Oh, hey! oh I'm so happy I could jump for joy. In fact, <laughs> I think I will. Whee! <laughs> I knew you'd find it, Ben. <laughs> See, See you soon. soon. Get ad-free episodes on the Wiz app. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook forever.